Hello, my name is Brian Baduris and I'm in the Davidson School of Chemical Engineering in the Department of Chemistry at Purdue University. I'd like to take a few seconds of your time today to tell you a little bit about a new course on NanoHub U called The Physics of Electronic Polymers. In particular, I want to tell you a little bit about how we're going to use what we know about polymers to try to implement them into new and cool organic electronic devices. Every day, polymers are an inherent part of our lives, whether they be from plastic bags that we use at the grocery store, through plastic cups, Legos, things that we have containers of beverages in, or just the plastic packaging that goes around consumer goods. We use polymers in a myriad of different manners. And the way we use these materials is highly impacted by how we process the materials and the local structure of these materials. What we'll try to do in this course is move from these kind of materials that are kind of barrier polymers and move into materials that we can use for next generation consumer electronics. In particular, we'll focus on organic electronic materials. Now, these materials have been used in things like flexible cellular phones, in next generation organic photovoltaic devices or solar cells, and we want to connect how the physics of the polymers that compose these materials make these devices possible, and how we can use what we know about the physics of polymers and the structure of polymers on a very local scale to make the next generation of energy conversion, energy storage, and consumer electronic devices. During this course, what we'll cover is the background of the materials and the physics that go on these materials. We'll talk about the thermodynamics and how crystallinity impacts the structure of the materials. Talk about the nanoscale structure of these materials and how we can control that structure and thus control the flow of energy and charge of the materials. Finally, we'll tie everything together and be able to make systems and design principles based on the physics of the material in order to make high-performance, high-end organic electronic devices. I hope that you're able to join us on this adventure through organic electronics and understand how polymer physics is going to allow us to tie all of these materials properties towards the next generation of organic electronic materials and devices. Thank you, and I hope to see you in the course very soon.